Hello, chat. How are we doing? Uh, it looks like my audio is going through okay. Um, can you guys hear Lauren all right? Yeah, I think the game is just loud. Um, yeah, she's really quiet. Okay, so... What did I do to fix this last time? Okay, how is that? Is Lauren... Any louder for you guys now? Talking again. Not really. really. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can boost you in Discord. No, you are at maximum. I don't know how else to fix that on my end. Um, but I sound fine to you right now? Yeah, your volume to me is perfectly fine. Interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Just not as loud as me. Okay, so if I were to go down... Is this better? Can you hear us equally now? Uh, our little cartoons are so cute. I know, I love them so much. I feel you can still see your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask Kendall maybe to adjust yours to either be a little higher or mine to be a little lower. Yeah. Um, and do the like outline on yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So if you missed it last time. This is a super old Nintendo game uh, from 2007, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> but my cousin recommended it because he knows we like a cozy little mystery um, with puzzles. And this game goes out of its way to give you puzzles to do. So many puzzles. Like a lot of puzzles. <laughs> Everyone you meet gives you a puzzle. <laughs> and sometimes you click on random items and they're like, oh, here's a puzzle for you to do. Um, not mad about it. I really enjoy it. So, uh, two hundred and whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's like hundreds of puzzles. So I actually have a piece of paper in front of me this time. So That's hopefully we won't get stumped so we by. Don't ourselves again. <laughs> <laughs> my my family has been giving me so much crap about that freaking clock puzzle. Are you serious? <laughs> They've been picking on me about it. Uh, we did everything else really well. <laughs> <laughs> story so far. Professor and Luke made their way successfully to Reinhold Manor where they met Lady Dahlia. But before they can start talking, a loud noise startles Lady Dahlia's cat, Claudia, who runs off. The Professor and Luke are now forced to find the missing feline. And we found it, but it won't come to us. Right, yeah. We found it, and... Yeah, it was being skittish, so... Um... I can't remember if we talked to these people, so... I vaguely remember talking to this man. Uh, because he's angry. Yeah, I don't remember what voices. I'm less in a voice mood tonight, so I don't know if I'm gonna go as all out with the voices as I did last time. <laughs> Just a warning. Um... Yeah, so he was really mad. It's just too much to take. The needle on my wrath meter is completely buried. Why am I so worked up, you ask? This is this blasted puzzle. I've been trying to work it out since yesterday. I just can't get it, and it has me so steamed I can't sleep. 
You stupid jerk of a puzzle. Come here and take a look, will you? Yes, I will. And I have been there, my friend. <laughs> Had a puzzle just bug me. A man has been prescribed 10 pills. Starting today, he must take one pill a day, but because the concentration of the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man has decided to write numbers on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he have to have to number if he wants to keep track of the order? He wants to keep track of the order, so he would have to number So he's, There's 10 pills total. If he's taking the first one today, then he doesn't need to number it. And then he'll number eight, and he doesn't need to number the last one because he'll know that it's not numbered, it's the last one. Right. Let's take one pill a day. Take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man has decided to write numbers on each pill to help him remember oh gosh, the order. Will, what pill has Hannah lost sleep over? Uh, I was trying to think. Um... I, I, I know there are some, but I just, they aren't coming to my brain right now. Hmm. Um, I think you're right. The man has decided right numbers on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. Yeah, so he would only need to number eight of them, I would think. Staying up until like three with a New York I do do that with the crosswords. It's a uh oh wait this. I love a crossword puzzle. Do it. And a Sudoku puzzle. Yay! Every puzzle Yay. Has an answer. Nailed it. Starting off well. Okay. What were you thinking, man? Here I was ready to solve it all by myself. Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? That you nerve! Gave it to it. <laughs> Never happy. Uh, but with that puzzle solved, I can finally sleep again, so I guess I owe you one. Thanks. I knew you both have your work cut out for you, so good luck, yeah? A strange gizmo. Okay. What you about the lady? That's a long finger, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry to trouble you, madam, but have you seen a white cat run by? A white cat? Ah, uh, yes! It ran over that way toward the park. And may I ask, what are you planning on doing with it once you find it? Um, we're going to take it back to Lady Dahlia. It's her cat, and she asked us to bring it back to her. <laughs> and you're trying to try and catch that cat barehanded. Oh, good heavens. That's a bit naive, don't you think? Listen here, cats love treats, so try luring it over with some food. Thank what you. do you suggest? Got some old fish bones around here that I'm sure the little thing would go wild over. Uh, hmm? I said, are you sure that would work? Old fish bones? <laughs> uh, Maybe. <laughs> I feel like they'd be happier with just, like, tuna. <laughs> yeah, like fresh fish any fish yeah i'd be happy to give them to you if you solve this puzzle for me pig pin partition okay seven prize winning pigs are lazing about in a pen to make sure that the pigs don't fight with each other you've decided to section off the pen with three ropes can you hitch the ropes up to some of the posts shown below and separate each pig from its neighbor? Remember, not even a snout or curly tail can sneak over each partition. So three lines. This is very Nancy Drew's sort of puzzle. I guess I know that. Does it... Touching the... I don't I think it can touch them but that one is little tail was like over so maybe we could go to like 
this one, perhaps. Seems pretty. So we did that. So these two are good. So this has to meet here. Like that? No, the top two are together. What if... Yeah? Are the buddies by themselves there, Leo? The seems my answer. Pretty good. Nice. Critical thinking is the key to success. We well, made a lot of pigs very happy. I must say I'm very impressed. Here you go then. Some fish bones as promised. Good luck with that cat. Okay, so it ran toward the park, huh? There's a girl there now. Oh. Didn't even notice her. Tee hee hee. <laughs> that guy gets so worked up that he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's all she needed to contribute, I guess. Hello, cat. Can we offer you? Do I? Can I? What if I just click on the cat? I don't have to. <laughs> Professor, there she is. Quickly, then use the fish bones. Here, Claudia. Come here, girl. Meow. We've done it, Professor. Here she comes. Excellent. Now we can head back to Reinhold Manor. Don't freak out. Oh my gosh. What a fat little cat. Solved. Okay, we did it. Having successfully caught Claudia, Professor Layton and Luke decide to head back to Reinhold Manor. Are you becoming accustomed to moving around and investigating St. Mystere? some advice to keep your investigation running smoothly. Some puzzles will disappear from their location in town as the story progresses. Huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Most of the unsolved puzzles are sent to Granny Riddleton's shack in the village square. Ah. Visit often to track down puzzles you passed up and work toward completing every puzzle in the game. Okay. Okay. Avery, if you think these voices are over the top, go watch the video from the first time we played this. I was like Just in a mood. <laughs> yeah. Or our um in the woods. Oh yeah, night in the woods we do fun voices too. <laughs> yeah, and Kendall joins. Mm-hmm. And he uses like a voice modulator, which is extra fun. Um, something doesn't seem quite right, Professor. Uh, Professor, oh, it's simply awful. Come quickly, please. What's the matter, Matthew? If you're worried about the cat, we've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, well, Madam will be very happy to hear that. But this is no time to worry about a cat. Just hurry upstairs right this way, please. Oh, hello. Kell me. Chell me. So you're the famous Professor Layton, then. The name's kind of Chelmy. Inspector Chelmy. Yeah, I can't I can't decide if he's creepy or like hermit-esque. I'm the inspector on this case. Well, I'd hardly call it a case if this is about Claudia. We've brought her back safe and sound. Oh, Claudia, my baby. Mama missed you so much. Meow. <laughs> What's this cat doing here? Why on earth would you bring an animal into a crime scene? Have some sense. We were out when this crime took place and do not know what's going on. Could you please fill us in? 
There's been a murder, Professor. A man was killed here. Who was murdered? The victim was a resident of this address, one Simon Reinhold. Simon was... Oh my gosh! Uh, Gasp! Okay. The snobby kid. Uh -huh. Approximately two hours ago, I had received a report, that, a report that a man had collapsed at Reinhold Manor. Upon arrival at the scene, it was apparent to me that Simon was already dead. I see. And the cause of death? I'm currently conducting an investigation to look into it. I'll just let you know right now, Mr. Layton, I'm looking at you as a potential suspect as well. The rest of the details concerning the inves this investigation are classified. Speaking of the details, who placed the calls to the authorities? Are your ears clogged? You deaf? Didn't I just tell you those details are classified? Hmm? All right, everyone. I'll be taking statements from each of you in the other room. Come in one by one. And let me make this clear. Under no circumstances is anyone to leave until I've talked to everyone. I did not expect a murder. I didn't either. <laughs> this seemed too, like, made for kids. Um, Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, did you notice any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not a soul, I'm afraid. I, I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chelney showed up. Was he not dead until then? And where is Simon's body now? I didn't see this, but I was told that the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. Well, it looks like for the moment we are without a lead on this case. Ah, but you know, I found this in the room where Master Simon's body was discovered. Huh, what is this? I'm sorry to say I have no idea, but I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing! It's a cog so small that one could search the room and miss it. Look, it has an engraving. Mm, okay. A small cog. Now that you mention it, I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. What? Are you joking? A puzzle? At a time like this? <laughs> Why, yes. What other better time? There's no better time for a puzzle. <laughs> you are holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot on it. Okay. If you hold the shape so that the red dot is in the position shown in diagram A, mm -hmm. and then flip it over, you'll see a black dot as depicted below. Okay. A small what? A small cog? Like a little gear or wheel? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> what, did you, what did you think I said, Avery? <laughs> uh, okay, so if we're holding it that way and we flip it yeah. um, so that it's... You'll see the black dot as depicted below. Okay, I got it. Now assume you're holding the shape as shown on the left side of diagram B. Where will the black dot okay. be when you flip it over? We're it flipping it to the left? Yeah, I think we're flipping like this side over. So I think the black dot starts here. Okay. And ends there. Okay. So it's two to the right so of technically the... Technically on the right side the red dot would still be at the top um what do you mean so on that diagram if we flipped it like to its back side oh yes the red dot would still be there. i think it's okay. still here so on this one if the black dot is here yeah and it and gets it rotated back. it would just end up here right <clears throat> yeah, yes. Oh, circle, draw a circle. Boop. 
if we're looking we at go. flipping the right way. I think we are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Critical thinking is the key to success. Okay. Got it. My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know anything that would aid your investigation. Not at all. This small gear is more than enough for us to go on. But I do wonder why you're giving this to us. I believe you are a good man, Professor. I'm confident you will put the whole of this puzzle together. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. Imagine a murder in this very house. It brings a chill to my spine, it does. You're a detective, are you not? To hurry and find the monster that did this. My good sir, I am no detective. But I agree that your concerns are certainly warranted. <laughs> I guess we're technically a professor, but like we're definitely a detective. Like, what else? We're a detective. No one is safe until that criminal is behind bars my sentiments exactly. I just don't understand it. Simon could be snide, but he wasn't the type to be hated. If the criminal was after my brother's fortune, I could very well be this fiend's ne next target. You have a point. If we narrow the motive to stealing the Reinhold fortune, there are few potential suspects. Good gracious, you don't think I'd do something like this now? Well, you just implicated yourself, sir. <laughs> it doesn't look good that you just brought this to our attention. Simon and I got along very well, I'll have you know. He wasn't very close with Augustus, though. Uh, uh huh. You know. Uh huh. So quickly. All this talk of families has me contemplating a puzzle I once heard. You don't say. You <laughs> don't say. Okay. Mm Six brothers have gathered around a table to eat dinner. Each of the brothers is prone to fighting with the sibling directly above and below him in age and can't be seated next to either of them. Okay. Also, brothers three and five got into an argument the other day and refused to sit next to each other. The eldest brother, brother one, has already sat down at the big table and is waiting on the others to start eating. Can you find a seating arrangement that will keep everyone from fighting with each other? Kinds of puzzles. I do really like these ones. Okay. This is like the logic games on the LSAT. For real? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, okay. I love <laughs> these sort of logic actually. puzzles. <laughs> it's really like one of my favorite types of puzzles. Um, can't be seen in next. Okay, so above and below them in age. So I yeah. guess their number and is their age order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to be. And three and five can't be next to each other. So I would be like. No, I'm just kidding. You go. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, go. my first inclination is to just like start putting yeah. them in order. Yeah, she said, yes, we have an entire section on the LSAT devoted to logic games. That's actually so cool, Avery. Does that work? Mm, three and five are apart. Four, six, three, two, four. I think that works. I think that works too. Luke, here's my answer. Yay! Every puzzle okay. has an answer. Ah, yes, so that's the answer. You guys would pass... I would pass the logic game section. <laughs> I love a logic puzzle. Thank you for clearing up that puzzle, but we're still no closer to finding Simon's killer. I assure you I had nothing to do with it, so please go out and find the real murderer. 
Of course. I understand your position. It appears I am a suspect too. I'll find out what I can. Is this everyone who was present at the time the site of the crime? I believe we are missing Ramon, sir. That is exactly what a murderer would say. I am not a murderer. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Uh. Ramon, where is he and what on earth is he doing? Matthew, fetch Ramon at once. To be honest, madam, thinking on it, I've not seen Ramon for a few hours now. What? Don't tell me he was taken as well. No, hold on a moment. He's a suspect too. Perhaps he fled the scene of the crime. Where could he be at a time like this? What if the murderer got Ramon too? Okay. Just gonna click some. Oh, nope. Aha! If you click random objects, it sometimes gives you coins or um, puzzles. Yeah. Which is why I'm just clicking around. Wait a moment, Luke. I have a puzzle for you. <laughs> yes, Professor? There's something I'd like to discuss with Lady Dahlia. It shouldn't take very long at all. Um, wait, so can we not leave? Check up. Uh, do we have to talk no. to these two guys? Where did Lady Dahlia go? I believe Madam has retired to the adjoining room to relax on her own. She's a strong woman, but it's only natural she'd need to rest after a terrible event like this. Very well then, would you please let her know that I have something I'd like to talk to her about? But of course, Professor, please wait here. Lady Dahlia might act like an ice queen, but I guess even she was shaken by today's events. Luke, if you wish to ever become a true gentleman, you need to start showing a little more sensitivity. He's right. Oh, of course, Professor. I apologies. That was wrong of me. Madam will see you now. Just head back through that doorway on the left. Oh, I guess we have to use our little walking. What a lovely base. Puzzles? Puzzles for me? Okay. Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the golden apple. What? <laughs> it's too early to say for sure, but I think that it's highly probable the two matters are linked. And you think that Ramon is somehow involved in all this? Potentially, yes. However, as of yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. I see... If that's the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find Ramon and bring him back here to me. It sickens me that I am being considered a suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dahlia. We will ask around town to see what we can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well then, I'll be awaiting the good news in the parlor. Okay, I was thinking it was probably the the that dude, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, isn't that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. Baby. That baby must be Baron Reinhold's daughter, then. 
Flora was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much, has she? You know, Luke, they say true beauty never ages. I, su I suppose so, Professor. But even so, it makes me wonder. Maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. Interesting. Ooh, just getting coins all up. Oh, okay. Lots of coins in here. Okay. Um, so we need to go find Ramon, I guess. Pardon me, but we happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a moment ago. I beg your pardon? The picture of you holding a baby? That one that sits in the next room? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. Uh huh? My apologies, madam. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. Go find Ramon and bring him back, would you? I mean, can you bring just... Bring her the picture? Yeah, I mean, like, there's a picture of you holding a baby. It doesn't have to be yours, but you should probably... Yeah, but explain. Yeah. <laughs> if that's not Lady Dahlia in the photograph, then who on earth could it be? I think we'd do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he can clear this up for us. Ah, Matthew, do you have a moment? Certainly, sir. How can I help you? It's about the picture of Lady Dahlia upstairs, the one of her holding a small child. Ah, yes, about that old picture. That's not Lady Dahlia, I'm afraid. It's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. But I certainly understand why you would mistake one for the other. They were virtually identical in their appearance, their gesture, and even the way they moved. So that photo isn't of Lady Dahlia, but of an earlier wife of the Baron? That's super weird. Wow, imagine finding someone who looks that much like you. What are the odds? Is there a chance the two were relatives of one and another? And then they both married... That's so weird. Uh, there's something weird going on here, right? Like, do we have secret twins or what is happening? I've never heard anything Maybe. to suggest as much, sir just happened one day. The Baron arrived home and at his side was Lady Dahlia. I'm sorry to say that's all I really know about the matter. Did they like fake her death to claim like insurance money or something and then she reappeared as a different person? <laughs> but like not really. <laughs> they didn't even, try at all. They didn't even like dye her hair or cut it. <laughs> Not at all. You've been most helpful. Thank you, Matthew. How odd. The more I hear, the stranger the whole affair starts to sound. It is weird. I'll give you that. Baron Augustus Reinhold. And then her? Flora Reinhold. Okay. Find Ramon. Hello, cat. This is where you were when you ran away. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> These are... These are Simon's glasses. But how on earth did they end up here? This could be a key clue in the investigation. I think it's best if we brought this to Inspector Tell Me. Okay. What's the matter, Mr. Layton? Inspector, take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. What the? Hmm, I imagine they simply fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. 
Besides, if you have enough time to manage the village lost and found, shouldn't you be searching for the Reinhold inheritance or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing? This guy's such a dick. I find him highly suspicious. Of course, if you continue to interrupt my investigation, I have some ideas about what you can do. My sincerest apologies, Professor. Or Inspector, sorry. I don't like that Kel me one bit. He reeks of smoke and he's so full of himself. And the way he treats you, Professor, it's just too much. Luke, my boy, pay it no mind. Right now we have other priorities. Let's go ask around town and find Ramon. Okay. Hello. Her finger man is really big. It's a big thing. <laughs> huh? Look, there's a hole in that boat there. Oh, Professor, that reminds me. Have you ever heard the one about the sinking ship? No. Uh, who's laying? SOS. 15 people are trapped aboard a ship that's going to sink in exactly 20 minutes. Their only chance for survival is the five-person life raft stowed on their vessel. To make matters worse, the waters around this ship are teeming with man-eating sharks. Okay. So swimming to safety is out of the question. A round trip to the nearest island and back to the boat takes nine minutes on the raft. How many people will live to see dry land? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I mean... So... Five-person five raft. Them. Hold up! All of them, because it takes nine minutes there and back. That's five people. Nine minutes there and back. That's 18 minutes, another five people. The rest of the five people get on the boat, and the ship is sunk, but they can still get to shore. Are you sure? What did you think? Because there's 15 people, right? So you can take... Yeah. You take five people to the island yeah. and back. A round trip to the nearest island. Oh, the nearest... Okay. has to be I was, on the boat. I was thinking it was one way... Uh, nine minutes. Nine minutes. And, uh, okay. So, yeah. Nine minutes, nine minutes. And then everybody else is on the lifeboat. But somebody has to be on the boat to get it back, huh? Um... It doesn't say that, but... Hmm... That's a good question. I feel like if it wanted us to factor that in, it would have said... I mean, it would... So. By that logic, yes, you would need someone, but... I feel like it would have said... You need at least one person to run the boat or whatever you're the boat okay hmm. so yeah i i yeah i don't know i think let's try 15 and then if not we can factor in the people like one person know. running the boat no okay frankly I people are going to die <laughs> okay so yeah, we gotta um, assume somebody just one person i guess okay so um so five two trips could get nine people wait no five and then four, four. so then yeah there's so four over people. here and then... And then another four. Um, yeah, and then another four, so then there's eight. Plus the one on the boat. Um, and then he goes back. And he can fit four more people. So thirteen. So... Yeah, it would be thirteen. I think. This is a horrible question. It is, yeah. I, I'm kind of surprised. 
that should do it. Every puzzle People has gonna answer. die. Moment of silence for the two who didn't make it. No kidding. Yeah. Wow, great answer, Professor. It took me five times as long to get that one. Look at you fretting away there. Whatever's the matter? Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Ramon around here today? He was here until just a while ago. No, I can't say I've seen him today, which is strange considering how he often how often he sneaks off the job. Mm -hmm. But enough of that. I hear you're quite an ace with puzzles. <laughs> I just I I love that people are like, I know there's a murder <laughs> investigation on, but I hear you're good at puzzles. <laughs> Here's this puzzle to solve. <laughs> Would you mind helping me out with a puzzle I've been mulling over? Oh, right now? We're sort of in the middle of something right now, but if you insist... She does. We do. <laughs> Have you ever heard of one-line puzzles? The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without Ooh. lifting your pen from the pad or tracing any part of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Now that you're familiar with the concept, look at the four pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Which one is it? So, that one can. You can do the car. <clears throat> I bet it's going to be that. I've heard I guess I've seen a puzzle like this similarly and it had these boxes with the crosses in it I'm gonna have to You totally just did it. Uh, there's one. Oh, no, you didn't. There's one. <clears throat> I think that's the one. I feel like it's also that one. Did you check this one? No, I didn't. Oh, God. <laughs> You're doing that the, the strangest way. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm scared that um, if I go through, I won't be able to make my way back. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, the circle it, I guess. Which one is it? This one. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Actually, a very easy way to tell whether or not a given picture has been drawn in one stroke. Oh, okay. There must be more than one riddle like that. <laughs> the, that's some fine work there. I was stuck on this puzzle for I don't know how long. Ah, you there, boy. I just had a terrible vision of you running into trouble tonight. What? Hey, what? Lady. So be careful out there, all right? Uh, well, that was a welcome piece of news. Don't worry about me, because I don't scare easily. Okay. Strange. Strange indeed. Hey, you two. What you up to? Let me in on the secret. I got it, I got it. Don't tell me. I told you I got it. Out searching for somebody, huh? Hitting the streets for info, yeah? But sorry, I haven't seen your man. Are I you sure? know what man. <laughs> That's a good point. Are you sure you didn't see or hear anything that might help us? 
No, no, I got nothing for you. Quit asking me about it. Sheesh. I see. Well, in any case, thank you for your time. Oh, yeah, and good luck with your crazy search. Two crazy kids on a crazy search, right? Right. Ah, but definitely do not go poking around the tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yeah, you got it. Okay. The tower on the north side of town. How do you even get to that part of town? You remember that clock tower in the square? I believe we must pass through it to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. Okay. Alrighty. We've been in here. Oh. Oh, look, another candle, Luke. <laughs> that reminds me, have you heard this one before? <clears throat> Is this a different puzzle or one that we've already done? It's different. Mm. You have only one match left. You want to light the room with an oil lamp, start a fire to warm the room, and heat your bath water. In order to complete all the above actions, which of these should you light first? Light the room with an oil lamp, start a fire to warm the room, and heat your bath water. You should... You should light the... I would light the fireplace first, I feel like. You need light, though. To see. That's true, I guess it, if it's like super dark in there. Um... If you light the room with an oil lamp... Can you light your bath water... Or heat your bath water with the fire? Or the lamp? I'm assuming it's something like that, or like... There will be... Can you light the fireplace with the lamp? <laughs> and heat your bath water. Start a fire to warm the room. And heat your bath water. Which of these should you light first? Seems like if you, I mean, I feel like there's a path where you could light them in kind of whatever order, because they're each going to create more fire, right? Except for the. Which, well, I guess it, if you're lighting under it or something. That's what I was thinking, because, like, how else are you going to use this stuff to heat your bath water? I guess if you're putting it over, like, the fireplace in, in like, a pot or something. Oh, maybe, yeah. So if you were to light the lamp first, it seems like you could use the lamp to light the fireplace, or vice versa. I wonder if because it gave it to us in that order, lamp, fire, bath water, it's not the right order <laughs> as test logic. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I feel like bath is last, so fireplace, lamp, I'm gonna be very confused. Yeah, I don't. I don't get this one either. Okay, what does the hint say? Take a deep breath. What? Okay. Oh my god. That's order. literally the question. That I don't is, understand. That is the puzzle. That's the puzzle. Okay, do a second hint, maybe. Your answer should be the item that once lit lets you perform your other tasks. Yeah, like the fireplace. Without lighting this, you won't be able to okay, take care of it. Okay, so maybe it's just like you can't see if you it, don't light it. It light. must be. But like, if you're lighting a lamp, I mean, you'll be able to see once you light a fireplace because it's fire. Right, like, they're all... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a... Uh... What? what? I'm so Hang on a second. 
I don't get it. How is it the bath indeed? Unless we're supposed to circle the match. Oh my god. Hamper! Dobek. Yeah. You did it. You did it. That's a trick question, and I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm a little salty about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously, we're going to use the match first. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was the obvious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't like that one. That one's not... I do not take responsibility for that. Uh, wonderful work, Luke. That is indeed the answer. I don't see anyone minding the shop at the moment. Perhaps we should leave for now. Uh, that one made me feel real dumb, too. Yeah, it's just... It's not even that, like... I just thought that that was, like, a given. Ob like, obviously, the match has to be lit so that you can light the other things. Oh well. <clears throat> That's the clock tower you were talking about, right, Professor? Yes, quite right. Hmm, somebody's standing under the entrance. Who are you? Oh, I remember this guy. <clears throat> <laughs> He's so strange. It's so strange. Okay. Hey there. You've been pretty busy solving puzzles, yeah? If you want to pass through here, you need to have solved at least 12 puzzles first. But it looks like you've already done that. Hmm. Well, I guess I just lied to you then. If you really want to pass through here, you're also going to have to solve one more puzzle. Okay. I'm shocked. Dice below look normal enough, but if you look carefully, you should see a pattern start to emerge. You know the following. A equals zero. B equals nine. C equals six. So what does D correspond to? It's a time, yeah. So three. Are you seeing... It's like a clock. So the second dot, there is no dot. And then... The oh yeah, and then six, six. o'clock, and then three o'clock? Yeah. Seems like it to me. That should do it. Nailed it. Another puzzle solved. Okay. Way to go. You've earned it, mister, so come on through. Are you still after that scary cat? <laughs> we are looking for one of Reinhold's employees now. He's a man by the name of Ramon. You haven't seen him about, have you? Ramon, huh? Um, yeah, I think I might have. Oh gosh, where'd I see that guy? Hmm, maybe you're better off asking someone else. Go ask Lucy, she's standing under the clock tower. We have to go there anyway. Perfect. The split screen thing got me for a second. <laughs> like, what? Uh, we can finally pass through the clock tower to the north side of town. How exciting. I can't wait to see what's in store for us there. Hee hee hee. What you doing? Why do most of the women start off with hee 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 Because we're so, we're so cute and demure. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you want to ask me something, but would you mind solving my puzzle first? My little brother and I came up with this one together. He asked. Okay. A boy and his big sister are sitting around the t kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age, huh? Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that, and then I'll be three times your age. So just how old is That's each sibling? What? 
Also, these children in the picture are like 14. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not gonna be what this is. If I took two years away from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age. So if he was like... He's eight, she's ten. Okay, so... He would be six, she would be twelve. That would be half. Would be twelve. And then... That works for the first one, at least. Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that, and then I'll be three times your age. Um, so, he's five, she's thirteen. So... No, it doesn't work. What about half that? So, he's four, she's eight. Wait, no, no, no. He, she's six. So... If we... Two. No, okay, let's try six and so if it's if she's it works for eight and ten, but not if it's three times the age, right? Why don't you just give me one Since more on top six. of that? Huh? Six and six. So it's four and eight. Nine and three. Mm, so they're twins. Yeah, that that the picture makes more sense. <laughs> um Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> She's 66. She is 66 <laughs> years old. That should do it. Every puzzle has an answer. That one was fun. Yeah, I like a good number puzzle. I know. Sometimes I miss, like, math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, was that too easy for you? Oh, well. Hey, you know the guy from the mansion, Ramon? He may look sedate, but boy, does he like the nightlife. He's buddies with that party animal, Jarvis. Jarvis? I don't believe I know the man. Where might we find him? Well, you see, Jarvis isn't the type to place much value in being gainfully employed. At this time of day, he's probably lazing about around those steps to the north. Just head up north until you hit a fork in the road, and then take the path to the right. Okay, I have to go now. Let's play again later. Okay, thanks for your gossip. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Hello, cat. There's a... It's got a mouse! Look at that cat, Can Professor. That? It's not Claudia, is it? No, no. On second thought, it is a different cat. Yes, it's an alley cat. And judging by the way he bullies that poor mouse, I'd rather mean one at that. Yeah. Play. Ah, yes, Luke. Speaking of mice, have you heard this one before? <clears throat> okay. Mice are famous for their ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. This, the type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing 12 babies each time. Baby mice mature and can give birth two months after they are born. You picked up one of these darling baby mice at the pet shop and brought it home the day after it was born. In 10 months from now, how many mice will you have? One. What? What? Why are we assuming it's gonna multiply? <laughs> oh, cause it needs. It's a baby, so even if it's a female mouse, it wouldn't have. It wouldn't be pregnant. And you'd still and it just doesn't have... have a mate. Right. So it'd still just be one mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're trying to trick us. They are trying to trick us. I'm just making sure it doesn't say anything about any other mouse. Okay. Well, here's my guess. 
ba 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 we're too smart for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't birth any babies by itself. Correct. Excellent work, Luke. You found a painting scrap. All right, let's click some stuff. There's something a bit bleak and sad about this place. Oh, I don't like that. Look, Professor, there's a puzzle hidden here. <laughs> a worm's dream. This worm's life dream is to make it to the center of the apple. Complete this slide puzzle and help him realize slide his dream. Puzzle. With only eight pieces to manage, this task might seem easy, but it's probably harder than you suspect. Uh, okay. Um... Killing with the worm friend. Mm. So we just need to switch those two. Now we need to switch these so So it needs to be this one and this one. Why am I usually really pretty good at these? I wonder if it's because there's more than one option. Like, that middle piece could go up in the top left. And vice versa. Can it? I wonder if it'll... I don't know if it would matter. But... No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's a good point, though. Um, if they fit differently, then... Those two are good. <clears throat> and then these three, it needs to be this one, then this one, and then the 
is blank. So this one first. That's blank. This. And then bottom right corner. This and then blank. I like how it's counting your moves at the top. Yeah, that's kind of... It's annoying. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of moves. <clears throat> I'm struggling. My brain just doesn't want to see this tonight. Okay. Goodness. How did we do so many slide puzzles in Nancy Drew and like they never gave me this much trouble? Maybe the less tiles you have, actually the harder it is. 
Um, there's only nine, or there's only eight, actually. Isn't that how many there usually are? Mm, the Nancy ones are pretty big. Maybe that's what it is. Already walked away from this puzzle by now. Uh, <laughs> I do kind of wonder if have if you restarting it would help. To the top right, we have this one. This one, this one, and this one. So this one needs to go here. We need to get that one. Like that. And then this one. So this one. And then top right. And then middle. And then the top. Left. Ah! I did, I almost did, I just had that one step backwards. Okay, so. It should be this one. And then this one. And then this one. And then this one. <laughs> Why is it always two pieces that are just need to be switched? Uh, to make you crazy. Mm hmm I do wonder I'm gonna test something. Either of these work in the top left? Does that matter? I think these two pieces are the same. These two pieces are different. So if we go off of that, we'll start from the top right. So it'd be this one, and then this one comes next. 
and then either one of the bottom right, so that one would work. And then bottom middle comes after that. Here, and then down. I'm thinking of it wrong. I think I need to go backwards. So here, and then middle. Sometimes I just have to talk myself through a puzzle. That works. Okay, top right. And then middle. And then top left. And then middle left comes next. And then bottom right. Which is this one. And then bottom middle. like in the order it needs to be in um, if I were to shift 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 so this is the one that needs to be in the middle I think is that right It's just, I think it just can't be a corner one. back where I started.
<laughs> Donor, how long have you been working on this? I don't want to know. <laughs> I just keep... <laughs> oh, I keep getting so close. Oh. Okay, yes, I understand. Okay, yeah. So it is something with, like, the pieces that are switchable. But I didn't think the top... I don't think these two corners can be switched. I think it's just these two corners that can be switched. Which... Maybe that's why I'm not thinking about it correctly. Okay, so... It's gotta be something simple because these two pieces look the same. It has right. to be. Because I just, let me confirm. This does not work there for sure. Because it has to match the apples in the background too, presumably. I would think at least. From this, we just need to switch this one and this one. So it's just a matter. Start with the top left piece, and then that needs to be next, and then this needs to be after that. left, middle left, bottom left, mm -hmm. bottom. Mm 
and then this one. Like I'm just gonna do the same thing to myself. Yep, back up where we started. Okay. Uh, let me look at this last hint. Can't finish without doing so. Piece in the upper left corner. Well, I mean, we know that much. <laughs> is, it, is that wasn't helpful? <laughs> it's not helpful. switched. Alright, this might just be one of the, like they were talking about, like puzzles that just haunt me. <laughs> The, I'll just I'll you work on it on my <laughs> own off stream. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it would be so hard either. Okay. I was like, oh, a slide puzzle. No problem. Okay, moving on. <laughs> it's still, like, eating at me. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Yes, it's just as I suspected. I can tell from here, sir. You have something you want to ask me, no? Don't even try to hide it, sir. It's in your eyes. And ask you may after you solve this puzzle for me. Okay. Here's an overview, overhead view of a cluster of tropical islands. 
As you travel from start to goal, your objective is to visit every island exactly one time. The island folks say this can be accomplished with the addition of a single straight bridge. The only other rule is that your bridge can't cross over any pre-existing bridge, so where should your bridge go? So, it's kind of the same principle as like, oh, I wish we could draw with our stylus. Should be able to. I don't know, because it just wants me to connect bridges. Um. Exactly one time. Visit each island exactly one time. my answer okay. nailed it okay that gave me that a little feel better i mean it <laughs> made me feel a little bit better yeah got a little dopamine hit <laughs> i still need it from that other one though just as i suspected a fellow detective your skills at puzzle solving are formidable sir dare i say they approach my own it's the eyes i say they never lie and when they do i know Hello again, Agnes. She is all over the place. Oh dear, your fortune for this month looks abysmal. I recognize or I recommend solving my puzzle if you want to avoid this terrible, potentially gory fate. Oh, okay. The idea of one line puzzles is to put your pen to paper. Okay. Uh, we can cross lines. Look at the four pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn. Already feels like it's this one, right? Huh? I said it's gotta be the glasses. But maybe not. Um. house you can do I don't know I think you can do the glasses too yeah I like that they're like reusing imagery we've used in the game already so far yeah that's fun Is it this one? Can you do the... Is that... Yeah, it's the, um, hat. Bum, 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 Professor, bum. I've solved it. Okay, my, that was quick. Were you that scared of a month's worth of bad luck? Well, I'm sorry to say that there's nothing you can do to change fate. You'll just have to tough it out. <clears throat> No 
Home Cafe. Uh... Hello. Gerard. Hello there. Say, Sonny, you haven't seen a big coin around here, have you? Could have sworn that I dropped a lovely one nearby somewhere. See, I always seem to be losing things nowadays, and replacing them gets mighty expensive. I've become quite a penny pincher. Don't suppose you'd mind advising me on a tiny money matter, would you? A rope and coins are arranged as shown below. As you pull the ends of the rope out to the left and right, the rope will draw taut and push the coins to either side. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up on the top half of the rope, how many coins will you have? Oh my gosh, okay. Do you see the length of this rope? It's real long. Uh, okay, so everything on the right side of it. Yeah, so... Yeah. I think both of these are going under. Okay, now we have one. Because it has to be on your right as if like you're driving on a road, right? Wait, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So... Like, everything... If you're starting out here, everything on your right is going to go down. So that one's going down. That one's going down. That one's going down. This one's going up, so one. That one's going down. I'm gonna have to mark these as I go. We didn't get to that one yet. Um, this one's going down. That one's going up. This one's going down. This one is going down, down, oh, this is hard though, I think that one's going up. It is, Okay. How many coins do you have? So, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I count nine? nine? That's what I counted, but oof. I know, oof. Oof a doof a big right. time. You want to do it again? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. My, what a sharp fellow you are. Now do an old man a favor and help me search for that coin, eh? And you just left? Okay. Eerily quiet, huh? Okay. Jarvis! Let me tell you, lately St. Mysterio has become a dangerous place. Case in point, I haven't seen Ramon since yesterday. Is that rascal missing or something? I don't know why people are disappearing, but recently they just vanish. Poof! You can't walk the streets alone. Really? Could you please elaborate a bit more on what you know of these mysterious disappearances? Nope, can't say I know the particulars on the subject. Seems to me that the only folks vanishing were the ones complaining of feeling sick or tired. Ah, uh, shucks, I, I don't really know. Um, I don't really uh, remember much about it. You probably have better luck talking with Zapone about stuff like this. I hear he's in the know about pretty much everything. Zapone, you say? Where might we find this person? Woo, Zawaza! <laughs> you mean you didn't bump into him on the way here? He's the slouchy guy with the fancy little mustache. Y'all know him when you see him. Wow, it sure is hard to catch a lead on this case. The day is far from over, Luke. Let's see what else we can find out by asking around. Oh, crap. So I don't have anything to say. Okay. Archibald, lend me an ear, would you? I'd like your expert opinion on this puzzle. It won't take but a minute. It's a cool name. It is a cool name. It feels like a last name. Yeah. A father and son are chatting when the son poses this question. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? The father replies, you want to know how old your old man is, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. How old is the father? Okay. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? I don't know how old you're your old. age, so 22. I'm an, as old as your age, plus half of my age. So... Wouldn't it be 44? So 22 plus half of my age, 22 is 44. Yes. Okay. We're on, if we're only having adding half, then he has to be exactly twice mm -hmm. as old, right? Yep, yep, yep. Unless my brain's just like deteriorating. <laughs> that slide puzzle. Like, <laughs> just like, just like pouring acid into my gotcha. brain. It's just like. Okay. 
Not too bad. Mm-hmm. I guess I was on the right track all along. Thanks for your help, boys. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Good day. Interesting. So... He doesn't have anything to say about the goings-on. Anything to say about this mystery? Nope. She's back. She's following us. <laughs> Go meet Zapone. Was that this guy? The guy with a fancy mustache? Yeah. Looking into the mysterious disappearances around the village, are you? Well, let me give you my take on the situation. Well, um... Murder. Is something the matter? <laughs> yes, now I remember. If it's room as you're after, take a tip from a fellow detective and go ask Kraut Krauten? Crouton? <laughs> he owns the restaurant in town. Which is where? Oh my gosh. You're looking for the restaurant now. It's not far, just head a little to the west of here. But before you run off again, I've got a tip for you. If you want to experience all that St. Mystere has to offer, you can't just run from point A to point B. Take some time and explore the city from corner to corner. You'll be glad you did. Much appreciated. We'll be sure to give that a try. Come, Luke, we have work to do. So is he essentially telling us not to just... Have we missed puzzles? There seems to be a puzzle embedded in this door. I wonder I or I could have sworn there was nothing there a minute ago. Fascinating. This puzzle appears to be acting as some sort of lock for this door. How delightful. Luke, my boy, why don't you give this puzzle a try? I'm almost certain the door will open if you solve it. Oh boy. Can you get the red ball out of the maze? Slide obstructing blocks. As few as 12 moves. I hate when they tell you how few moves you can solve it in. It makes me feel extra dumb. Okay. Can any of them move right now? I know. Oh, I know. oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> we're used to Nancy. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that was me being like, what? I want to get it in 12. Okay, so I think I did this first. Which feels right. Do we want to bring the one all the way over? I know we're like way over now, but that's how you do it. Okay, that's fine. I don't care if I get it. How does this sound? <clears throat> Professor, I've solved it. Okay. 
Very nice. The door should open right up now. Oh, hello. She's cute. <laughs> Why, howdy! Do you have to find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well then, Sonny, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Granny Riddleton, where can we find this lady? Isn't it obvious she's right in front of you? Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Just no wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny, Granny Riddleton, guide to the puzzled puzzlers. Beautiful and clairvoyant? Professor, do you know what she's going on about? Fret not, Luke. Why don't you let me do the talking here? Sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Riddleton, but by clairvoyant, do you mean to say that you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of a crowd or visualize the location of lost objects? Sure, Any fortune teller can do that. So what if you can see a few days into the future? Big whoop. My specialty, you see, is puzzles. Puzzles people forget about. Puzzles people miss? Surely you boys have had a few of those, huh? No need to turn red, it happens to the best of puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take those poor lost little puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. Wow, so those puzzles that we tried but weren't able to solve, those puzzles are here now? Hee hee, it looks like you finally figured out what makes me so amazing, boy. Now go ahead and give a knock on the door of that little shack behind me. Inside you'll find rows of cute little jars, each one of them stuffed with a forgotten puzzle. I bet you can find those lost puzzle view, uh, puzzles of yours somewhere in the midst of all my little pretties. So... We have two that we didn't... Five card shuffle. Okay. Three of the four images shown below are the exact same picture rotated in a variety of ways. Can you find the odd one out? Okay. What match is? Match. So it wasn't that. I think A and B are the same. I think it's this one. Is it, Do you think it's the way they're stacked on top of each other? Yeah, this club is under the main card, but on the other ones, it's over. Yep. And the top one is over when it's supposed to be under. Right, I think that's the only difference. Okay. Uh, D. How does this sound? Ba ba ba. I did it! Yes. Okay, so we must have just missed that one. And then the other one in here is the slide puzzle. Juice. <laughs> is it? Uh. Juice pictures. I'm not sure that it is. Maybe because we're technically not done with this chapter yet. Oh, maybe, maybe. Here we have an eight-quart pitcher filled with juice, an empty five-quart pitcher, and an empty three-quart pitcher. Okay. The pitchers are unmarked, and your task is to divide the eight quarts of juice so that both the five-quart pitcher and the eight-quart pitcher are each holding exactly four quarts. Okay. So...
put this in here. It didn't get us anywhere. And we want to get it four and four. We want the five quart pitcher and the eight quart pitcher to hold four. If we pour this in here. This is going to leave us Then it'll be 3, 3, 2 Again What you just had. Oh, how did you... I don't know if you can. I know. I thought... I just did that too fast. Yeah. Um... the five back into the two the one and the zero and then fill up the three and the okay yeah. And the, yeah wait no uh this one right here yeah i was i was on the right track and then i got carried away <laughs> okay <clears throat> thinking is the key to success i feel like that puzzle is in so many puzzle games I know that's in like a rusty lake. I know that's in a Nancy. For sure. <clears throat> uh, I'm probably gonna call the stream maybe in like another 15 minutes or so. Okay, sounds good. I have to wake up early tomorrow. To run? Um, no. The fun thing is that I'm going to cheer for people who are running and I'm not gonna be running and I'm... That's Cool. Happy with that. <laughs> I do have to run tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it later in the day. Uh, and I, it's like a rest. I mean, it, I'm still running, but it's like I don't have a super long run this weekend. I, it's just like two short runs, so it's like right. a, technically a rest weekend. Yeah. Is it true what they're saying about a murder at Rainhold Manor? A murder in our little village. The very thought gives me goosebumps and a great idea for a novel. Oh, excuse my insensitivity. I'm just always on the lookout for new ideas. How can I help you? How old are you? I don't know. <laughs> he looks like, like with the same size, but he looks like he's like much younger. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking for Ramon. Have you seen him around? No, I can't say that I've seen him today. But if your search around town has turned up nothing, he's probably at the park or in the tower. You know, somewhere the villagers don't normally go. Tower, huh? 
Oh, you should stay as far from that place as possible. Oh. There are all sorts of bad rumors about it. Like this thing in the background, I guess. Not the clock tower. I guess not. It sure seems that way. We keep running into people who say that. Just what are the rumors? Just, you know, bad stuff. There's something really scary about that tower. How do we get to it, though? Maybe they won't let us know. It reminds me of the tower from um, Creeks. Creeks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go walk around this the... way for a while. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. What was that sound? Oh. Oh, it's hi. the angry man. I have just had it. Would someone please stop that awful racket? What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man. <laughs> Ah, but never mind that. I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise. I can't get a wink of sleep at night. It used to be the tower only made noise every once in a while, but recently it's been roaring nonstop. How am I supposed to sleep? You hear me, you big jerk of a tower? How am I supposed to sleep? Please calm yourself, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of that deafening din is? You know, now that you mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about that. I've heard it's the roar of a huge monster that lives up in the tower, but who knows? Uh-huh. So the noise is coming from the tower, is it? Interesting. Menu for the restaurant. I guess this... A ferris wheel back there do you see that i know i like we haven't gone into the park yet i'm gonna talk to her and then we're gonna go that way if we can <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> that guy gets so worked up that he turns red like a tomato he looks so dumb okay that's all she's got to say yeah let's go in here the park That filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. A glass jar holds a single germ. Oh, After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. One minute after that, the two germs split again, forming a total of four germs. Continuing at this rate, a single germ can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you had started with two germs? Okay, so it holds a single germ, and after a minute, it splits. And then in exactly an hour, it fills the jar. So every minute, it doubles mm -hmm. for an hour. So would you just half it? Knowing this, how long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you had started with two? I see. Yeah. I'll take half the time. Uh, because... Yeah, that makes sense to me. I'm wondering if I'm thinking about it incorrectly. 30 minutes. Because... be like if they're they're going they're going to be going at the same rate that the original germ would be by itself mm -hmm. which it took yeah. no 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 um because i think we are thinking about it incorrectly but there's no way that we could know how many times they multiply so I'll yeah just but say after one minute yeah it does say after one minute so at the 59 mm -hmm. minute mark it's going to be half full what 
this the single germ if it's if it's splitting oh, it's gonna yeah okay so it's doubling every minute until and if, if the jar fills at exactly one hour then it's only in that final double that it filled up right yeah but okay how does that translate to it having two germs How long would it take to fill the jar if you started with two germs? I still think it would be half. Maybe even... Quarter. Yeah, I'm thinking knowing that how long there's two terms. Do we just try the half first and then go from there if we? Okay. If this is wrong, then we'll have to like think about it more. Here's my guess. Yeah. Oh, I was sure I had it. Okay. So <clears throat> Yeah, one jar it makes my brain hurt. I <laughs> so if one germ doubles and doubles and doubles and doubles until it hits at f at fifty nine minutes, it's going to have fifty percent of the jar. So, if you start with two, I feel like with a calculator you could solve this really quickly, but I don't feel like you're supposed to use a calculator. I feel like it's just supposed to be solvable without one. Um. Cause, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. The okay, what <laughs> it's you're just t one less step, it'd be 59 minutes. Oh my god, because you just lack one minute, yeah. You just take away that first split. Oh my, is all you're doing. Hannah. I knew it was a simple <laughs> answer, you just had to like, <laughs> I just had to like <laughs> give my brain a second to that's yes. Yes. Good job. Well, here's my guess. Hey, hey, hey. good job. <sighs> God. <laughs> You're spot on. Excellent job. The star is actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? But my boy is covered in crime. Hmm, what's this? Something hidden inside the jar? I think you're right. Luke, reach a hand in and see what's inside, will you? Ah, uh, painting scrap. Mm. Alright, one more okay. puzzle. Alright. Uh, open. I see. Uh, 
Okay, so we need to find the restaurant, which is supposed to be where? Mm. Is it this? It's this. <laughs> Flick. Flick. So, I hear you two are into puzzles. I can tell it's obvious from the way you're oogling those these coins. You can smell it, can't you? Well, you're right. There's a puzzle in these coins. Have a look. Okay, well, that was fast. Equilateral triangle. In the drawing below, 10 coins are arranged to form an equilateral triangle. The triangle is pointing up right now, but can you get it to point down by moving three of the coins? I feel like I've done this puzzle before. This feels like one of those puzzles they would have at, um... Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can With see With the little that. pegs, you know? Mm-hmm. So... So, add one from the bottom to the, like, second to bottom. Like, on the opposite side, you know? Yeah, so if you're going to move that one, put it on the right side of the three. Like here? Yeah. But I think you used two on accident. Maybe not. Um, because then that's four and three. Mm, wait, no, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should have moved the top one to that spot. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> It's doable. Or maybe the top, the second row has to become the four. Uh, oh. Mm. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, we're done. That should do it. I like visual puzzles like that. Puzzle has an answer. <sighs> okay. All right. Yep, it's just as I thought. You guys are a bunch of puzzle nuts. You got us. St. Mysterious full of puzzle lovers just like you two, but not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back. Um, so... How many painting pieces do we have now? Not enough to like mm, put yeah, together I yet, huh? Do anything. I would honestly wait until we have all of them. Yeah. Um, we have gizmos. Are meant to be. Oh, does this just automatically put itself together? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. I guess we just have to collect them all. Okay. Oh, his little tongue. Oh my god, he's so cute. It is really cute. Okay, we have a little bit more stuff to get. Um, journal. What do we have? Uh, mystery. Puzzle index. Touch a puzzle to view it. Okay. Oh, worms dream. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Well, we are going to call it a night there. Um, we should be back on Tuesday nights for Mystery Night, um, and yep. I will be back on Monday with my family playing Astroneer. So I will see everyone then, and uh, yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>